I'm here to present the residential energy storage inverters of the Growart. So, there is the content for these uh, slides. First of all, I'm going to tell you about our battery adhesive solutions. Then uh, I'll go to uh, tell you about the single phase solution and three phase solutions, and then the advantages of the Growart. ESS solutions. So here is the roadmap for our battery ready ESS solution. As you can see above, uh, we have two inverters, two inverter lineup. One is the MIN inverter and the other one is the MOD inverter. Basically, MIN inverter is our uh, low voltage battery inverter, and the and on the other side, MOD inverter is our high voltage inverter. So at the bottom, you can see we have the lithium and battery bags. So here is the ARK batteries that we can connect with the low voltage battery as well as with the high voltage battery. So single uh, pack rating is the uh, 2.56 kilowatt hour and we can create a stack of almost 17.92 kilowatt hour in the low voltage battery system and we can create a 2.25.6 kilowatt hour of the battery then to the high voltage battery motors. On the right side, we have the APK high voltage batteries. So single cabinet is almost of the 5 kilowatt hour, and we can create a stack up to 70, 30 kilowatt hour. So basically, uh, our battery ready ESS solution is the future proof solution. We can also use it without the batteries as a grid tied inverter. So if we have if we have to use it, then we just add the batteries and it will act like a ESS solution. So our battery ready solution is basically give you the, give you the uh, dual output. Dual output means that uh, if we have the panel of the 10 kilowatt hour, then it will give you the 5 kilowatt of the AC output to the uh, appliances and 5 kilowatt to the battery that will utilize for the charging of these batteries. So as uh, of the 5 kilowatt hour, the same as the 10 kilowatt hour, it will give to the dual output 10 for the appliances and the 10 for the charging of the batteries. So here is the our <clears throat> battery bank, uh, which is uh, uh, the single module is of the 2.56 kilowatt hour. And we can uh, create a stack from 5.12 kilowatt hour to the 17.9 kilowatt for low voltage. And for high voltage, we can create 7.68 kilowatt hour to the 25.6 kilowatt hour of the battery. So uh, this is basically lithium ion phosphate battery, which is the safest form of the lithium ion battery in this world. So it is safe and reliable battery. Its lifetime is very great and it's uh, an inflammable battery. So it also supports the remote ring adapter. So here is basically our uh, high voltage battery bank. So single cabinet is five kilowatt hour and we can create a stack up to 30 kilowatt of the batteries. And it is, it is IP66 uh, rating of this battery. So it is very harsh for the environment. So we can easily uh, install it at uh, any type of the environment. So uh, as from the minus 10 degree centigrade to the 50 degree centigrade, you can easily install it in every condition. We also have the a battery management system in this battery. So a battery, man, a battery management system is used to control the life of the battery, charging or discharging of uh, every pack or individually or as a whole of the battery pack. And also it control the depth of the discharge of these batteries. So as, as we discussed, this is the safe, safest and the reliable battery as this is the lithium and uh, lithium ion phosphate battery. So we can, <clears throat> easily connect this in any type of the environment. So now I'm going to discuss about the single phase ESS solution. So here is the roadmap of our single phase ESS solution. The left side here is our SPH model and here on the right side we have a SPH model. Basically SPH model is for the, these, these two batteries are the low voltage batteries and at, at the bottom these are the battery banks for the low voltage. So here, so here is our SPH model. We can connect 
up to 4 kilowatt of the battery bank with it. Oh, it's, it's input, the PV input is almost 13.5 ampere and with DC to AC ratio is 1.5. And when the grid is cut off, it will take just 10 millisecond to 10 millisecond will transient to convert it on the UPS mode. So it can also be act as a UPS. So we can connect some critical load with the batteries and as well as the AC load with high top load with this inverter, which can not connect it with the batteries, but we can connect this in the inverter. So we can also use it for the ex extend the, the system. That's what we have a system of grid tag and we have to add some critical load on the batteries. We just have to install a smart meter and just we connect this battery and the uh, over inverter with the already installed system and just connect the, the critical load. So if grid is cut off, it will provide the acid backup for the critical load. We can also uh, use it without the solar plates. If uh, it, it's also act like a UPS, if, uh, if we don't have the solar plates, we just install the in this uh, in the house and just connect the critical load with it. When the grid cuts off, just it will convert to the UPS mode and it will provide you the complete backup for references. So here is our ARK low voltage battery pack. So single module rating is 2.56 kilowatt hour and it's IP65 rating. And we can create a stack up to 25.6 kilowatt. It means that we can create a stack of almost 10 packs. So, so as I just said, this is the safest form of a battery because this is the lithium iron phosphate battery, which is uninflammable and it's the most reliable and it has a good lifespan. Here is our AXC battery. Its single battery pack is almost 5 kilowatt hour and we can create a stack of almost 50 kilowatt hour. It means that we can in this in this in also we can create a 10 battery pack stack. So here is our GBLI battery which is the already uh, ready solution which is 6.5 kilowatt hour per solution. We can create a stack of almost the combination of 26 kilowatt hour. This is also the lithium iron phosphate battery, which is the safest battery in this. Here is our three phase gas solution. Here is our high voltage solution, which are which is the which are <coughs> sorry, three phase battery system. Uh, at the left, we have the SPH model, and at the right, we have a SPA model, and it will start from the four kilowatt hour to the ten kilowatt hour. And here is our high voltage battery pack. So in the three phase inverter, we can connect almost 10 kilowatt of the battery bank and it will also take the 10 millisecond of transient to convert on the UPS mode. And its PV input is also 13.5 ampere and it will come with the 1.5 DC to AC ratio. Very basically, there is the our retrofit project. If, uh, if a person who already have the grid tag system and he want to uh, at a battery bank or uh, ESS solution, then we only have to install a new solution and we can synchronize with the uh, grid type system and we can connect our critical load with the system and it will provide the uh, uh, backup and also peak time accommodation when the grid is cut off. Here, uh, here is the AC coupled uh, inverter. So we can also connect this inverter also without the solar plate. If we don't have the panels, then we can connect it the appliance and it will act like a UPS. Here is our high voltage battery. The single battery pen rating is 2.56 kilowatt hour and we can create a stack start from 7.68 kilowatt hour to 25.6 kilowatt hour. This is also the lithium iron phosphate battery, which is the safest form of the battery. There is some advantages of uh, using our system. So as you can see on the left side, uh, here is the lithium ion phosphate battery. And on the right, the right side, it is, here is the other lithium ion battery. As you can see, uh, you can see both have the same cost, but the lithium ion phosphate battery has the 
comparatively good safety lifespan and the specific power so it is more safer more uh, it's have output and also its life span is more good from the other lithium and batteries so also uh, we do uh, our battery bank have in the bms so bms the purpose of bms is to monitoring the cell it, it will control the temperature of the cell in a, as as a whole of the batteries and also it will control the soc of the batteries the voltage of the battery and the current of the battery and the bms also provide the full protection to the batteries it controls the over and under temperature protection it will provide you the over and under voltage protection also the overturn protection and the short circuit protection to the battery bank so uh, it is very easy to install the battery banks so just to have to connect the connectors with each other um, it will be easy to install at uh, any site so here we are uh, shine phone application so it is easy to uh, manage our system so you can see uh, how much energy and how much the uh, production you will do uh, the whole day and how much electricity you will sell to the grid and also the <clears throat> generation of your uh, solar and your what's the um, condition of your batteries and how much uh, back backup it will provide you also it is very <clears throat> easy to maintain in our system so you can uh, um, maximum of the problems will be resolved just <clears throat> from remotely just from the mobile application and or online server here is some global references of our energy storage solutions here is the 6 kilowatt of the pvs with this 25.6 kilowatt out of the battery bank it will be able to install in the battery with the ar kilo voltage battery so here is our gbli battery bank with the spa model with the 3 kilowatt of the panel with the 6.5 kilowatt out of the battery this is uh, installed in our uh, in the denmark with the 3.6 kilowatt of the pv with the 6.5 kilowatt of the hour of battery so this is basically installed in the philippine national police service so 36 kilowatt of the pv installed uh, in the police service in the office and uh, with the uh, 91 kilowatt hour of the battery bank installed at the place. So, thank you.